is fantastic, and that new AOE is obscene. It's it's team fight winning. You you it's... ravage everybody and you drop a midnight pulse, and that's just it. <gasps> oh, it's... Really? You talk about zone control, and oh, well, there you go, midnight pulse and tombstone. Nobody wants to fight in that. Do, do you do you want the ability to force down towers? Like that, that's all this seems to be, because that's going to be then. Uh, it's it's a core on dying. It's a core on dying, and Enigma in the jungle. Mm -hmm. We got a Jakiro for just roaming wherever he needs to be. Arteezy goes towards the middle lane, uh, up against a Death Prophet. It's a, well, I'll say a fairly even matchup. But this Undying could force a major issue on the bottom lane once he just gets his tombstone up in higher levels. A simple movement in from the Enigma, and there's nothing that pays off on the lineup. Fever's also being a little over aggressive on a Prophet, but. That Prophet, even though he left the lane, has still managed to pick up to his level 6, so Wrath of Nature and middle lane Arteezy, Super's initiating in. The Wrath of Nature's already connected, and Super, out of the stun on him, this isn't what he was searching for. There's no level for Midnight Pulse, he'll to attack Arteezy, one life point! Prophet, there's your jump in, but Zai, he's got no life point, he's going for the Black Hole, the conversion need more damage, and he will go down. Fear TP's in, gets the last hit, so he'll actually grab a huge amount of level. And now, in fact, yeah, look at VG Gaming, they instantly respond to this. Super and FY, they're going to smoke up and rotate down to the bottom lane. Is there no RTZ? He has no escape mechanism and also no support heroes. The trees are blocking him up for the moment. The probability will bounce through. FY telling you to pick up and Super will commit the ultimate out from this one. So RTZ will go down. Meanwhile, up on the top lane, it looks like the Undying also took a fall. The Shadow Shaman able to get the kill on him. So, two heroes lost here for EG and VG Gaming looking very solid early on. And they may even get more. Fenrir, Fia, can't finish the job, Fenrir's into the tree line, Black needs one more lucid beam, with the help from Ice 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 coming in, Universal dropped the tombstone, and Ice 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 as well as Black, they're trying to get rid of it, but not before Universal, he tried to soul rip up the tombstone, Ice 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 will summon a new set of treants, and that's body blocking him up, while Fia, controlled by Super as well as Black, so much bonus damage coming out from them, and the trees, they're trying to get in front of Universe, and they got it, Universe, he's body blocked up, Arteezy trying to help out, Black taking a lot of damage, there's also a lot of life points here on Universe, he goes for another decay onto the two heroes, looking so close into Super, but Prophet, Ice 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 from the tree line, able to get the hit in. That doesn't stop Death Prophet getting himself a double kill. One last stack into the Viper, and then the Crypt Swarm over the Prophet really pumps up some levels in for Arteezy. And they're actually looking for more. Zai, he's under the, he's behind the T1 tower, looking for Black, who's gone to the tree line. There's no Black Hole available, there's a lot more support. The Crypt Swarm is a triple kill for Arteezy. They time to ride to it's gonna be an Ultra Kill. One more attack into the tree line. There it is, it's an Ultra Kill for Arteezy. The VG gaming that advantage I was talking about. ...without fear or... Uh, PPD taking any damage. Fear ended up using a Ravage just to kill off the, the Shadow Shaman. But still, everything worked out pretty well in the end. Uh, Arteezy turning up at just the right time. They might trigger Exism for this as well. FY, a Crypt Swarm as well as the damage from the Exism just to, to devours him. And Ice 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 instantly TPs himself out with a scroll. Not even waiting the three seconds for his own uh, TP to come off cooldown. And uh, even then, gets the denial on the mid tower. No TP back to base. Comes and dies the tier 1 tower while on the bottom lane. The well, the winged fiends are battling up against each other. PPD, he can't battle the tower of Super. He's able to at least get the dual breath off, and Universe will TP himself out of safety. The problem of this lineup, no spot got ravaged. So the chance of this working is low. And in fact, he never even went for it. The Invis rune, they backed up too early before the Viper could TP in, and he TP'd to the back point too. He's still got plenty of duration left. I think he's just hoping that people are going to split up and fears out, so he's not the only one ganking now. <laughs> yeah, he could go for Zai right now, but Fenrir, Arteezy committed the ultimate to Lord to kill him off. And now Zai, well, he goes for the Midnight Stun, uh, the Midnight Stun, the Malifus Stun with the Midnight Pulse, can't TP himself out in time. And Arteezy, well, he triggered this ulti in order to get a support kill. And now he's got it for no other reason apart from walking around the dire jungle. However, FY throwing away your life may not be as great. He's coming up to do a ward, just so we can see what's going on. And he pings out the fact that Zai is over here. Now remember, this is night time, so the vision is really restricted. And Ice 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 TP did, but right on top of PPD, and then Undying. Straight to the open form, the Midnight Pulse is behind them. So the tree line got cut into the Ice Path now for PPD. And while well, the Zombie actually stole Macropire, returns it into the EG lineup. But he'll die directly after that. A brain fart, I think, from Arteezy there. Zai's got himself an Invis room.
So they might have an opening to go on to uh, either FY or Fenrir, or both. Why not? But then again, the Invis route is better where else. Just go, go straight to Malphite. Spear jumps in. He's also walking around with a haste rune, so that hex won't really do much there. So, ends up being a one-for-one -one pick off, even though it's a call for a support. With the Nimbus Convergence moving down the mid lane too, there's going to be some chip damage into the tier 2 tower. And that's probably the reason why Super is here. Now it's easy again forced to defend this top lane up against a pushing black. Poor fear. That's not where you want to be. You can do so well as you break your free of this one. The ice button does go down. That's why locked position for the moment. Now the Rapids will pop to on the super. Black Holly got black on the edge. Zai is burning inside them. Was that actually a stolen macro fire? Either way, a lot of damage coming his way. Ice 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 locked in the ice button. Black is still ticking down to the urn charge. As Universe picks up a double kill, Fenrir looking for a kill on Fear, but the Anchor Smash taking away all of his damage. The Gush, not to mention the 1200 life point Universe right behind him. And Arteezy, he managed to trigger the Aegis. He got it. And the tier 2 tower has to be fortified to protect itself. Ice 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 is coming back to try and stop this, but the new creep waves arrived here for EG. And Ice 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 is in range of EG. And then Ice Party got black in 5Y. Both of them together, Crip Swarm as well. Black could the only off here. He needs a tank for this. Dick Chan is trying to help him to do so. While the next system is still doing a lot of damage here to PG Gaming. There goes your Rubik. At the same time, the crop is down. The Ice Part, dual breath, trying to keep Super out so Universe and PBD can TP out. And it's enough time. He couldn't get high ground, which means Black couldn't get the vision to get the loose and beam mini sun off. No, just Radiant's one more hero had to be slain. there. And they would have got a it. Hello, Korea Snipe. That's in the middle lane. Ice 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 is able to find it. And Fear, he's got Ravage in two seconds. Anchor Smash in, if Ice 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 TP's out, Fear can just blow in and get the kill. Meanwhile up on top lane, Yule's over to Luna. Yep, there goes your Ravage, Fear takes one. Black's on the run, Narteezy committed the ultimate into this one. Black, he's considering, he doesn't, he can't consider, he has no Eclipse. And now Zupa being stunned up and slowed up. Gotta be careful with that Liquid Fire up, because PBD keeps taking corrosive skin damage. So it ends up being a blow in Oldman for Arteezy, that's not the way but at the same time there's no fortification and Arteezy's ultimate is just tearing through the tier 3 tower and it's already gone. Viper striking outside the base, PPD the mech shot, keep him up and then Black, another blink in but there's your Black Hole from Zai, catching out Super, catching out Black, the Ravage will go, doesn't know Fenry but Black turns on the Eclipse but the entire EG lineup is just sitting here tanking up with him. The Eclipse is useless, Fenry will go down, secondary Ravage. Oh, uh, kill Sphere. And then they move back over the Super. He's silent stuff. There's double 5 s coming out from BG Gaming. But they're losing more than what they're really gaining here. High side side's about to go down. The only thing they've gained is actually a kill on Jakiro. The Yules have took Fenrir around the pitcher. Enigma Black Hole. You got everything they want to go for the death push. Even if the bottom lane push did, they don't care. And Black, he has to be getting instantly, and he does do so. But then the physical DPS goes to work, and there's your Black Hole. It only caught Ice Ice Ice, however. And then Super walks himself into it on the edge, ravages the pop, and the secondary one won't come out, but the damage is done. VG Gaming, call the GG. 33 minutes in, they go for a second Ravage here, just to make sure it's a full genocide against BG Gaming, sending the Chinese a message that Game 2 will not be any easier than Game Number 1. It's a really nice performance out of EG, picking a pushing strategy that came online even faster than Vici's, really. Like, EG didn't need to take really any tier 1 towers at all to get all their core pushing items online. They had the Tidehunter, who was pretty much guaranteed Arcane's blink uh, from his position down in the safe lane. The Enigma, I think, was always going to get his mech.